Not really dealt with. Was that a handball? It's 2-1 Scarborough. Scarborough have taken the lead again. And the um, two teams are now making away, um, led by the officials for this afternoon. Scarborough in their traditional red shirts, shorts and socks. And Kirsten in their away pink shirts with um, black stripes. Very, very fancy that. With black shorts and black socks. I'm a fan. So, um... Uh, The traditional handshake between the two sides and the officials um, before we get this game underway. Riley, the uh, mascot for Scarborough, um, I'm going to run out with Michael Coulson. Cheers from both the Sea Dogs and the Nash fans. So the uh, two captains, that is number 21, Craig Mahone. Ex Chester player and Michael Coulson, Scarborough lad and Scarborough captain, talking to the officials. The, the official FA Cup coin toss. So, a free kick for um, Curzon Ashton. Take the ball down the left hand side, looking for um, number 10, Josh Hancock. Hancock now over on the far side, brings it over to uh, Will Hayhurst. And it's now into the box for the number nine. And it's in the back of the net there for Thomas Piers. Very early goal there for um, Curzon Ashton. As he turned round and shot the goal, shot the ball into the back of the net. Cracknell couldn't get down quick enough. But it was Thomas Piers with the goal. Second um, spell with the club. Everybody else is literally on that line, apart from Ryan Hall and Hayhurst. Anyway, there they all go. Drilled in there by uh, Watson, and it's gone to Willard Jay. It's an equaliser! <laughs> Willard Jay on the volley! He scored last Saturday, and he's got an equaliser this Saturday. Lovely little head down for Willard Jay to wrap his legs round and into the back of the net. It was, um, I think, I'm wondering if it was Heslop or Jackson who have got the assist. So something for the uh, Scarborough fans to um, chase back to. Um, level pegging at the moment, one all here. And uh, Willoughby now gets hold of the ball ball um, over to Willoughby on the um, right hand side gets it over to Tia now back with Watson Watson lofts this one here floating in oh Coulson trying to head it into the bottom corner there too far from the home dugout. I think the wind just blew the ball there before he kicked it. Um, is it a little bit windy out on the um, pitch down the valley? Coulson now trying to turn. The referee is not going to give that. It was a pull on the back of his shirt there. Very, uh, very lucky there for the uh, Curzon Aston player. I've got to be honest, the ref must have seen that. Nearly, ne nearly took the number off his shirt. Anyway, um, Cracknell with the ball, just outside his area. He's um, edging forwards. And the ball now flying into the air, looking for Coulson. Coulson pushed down to the ground again. I think the... Uh, 
Cheers, nice and players are having a bit of fun now because um, they're seeing how much they've got away. But Coulson now trying to get past the um, defenders, but he's um, hit by a pink wall. And Heslop's now going to get a, a free kick for Curzon Ashton as he's um, hacked down Hancock. But it's uh, the captain for Curzon Ashton Mahon gets hold of the ball, gets it over to Renshaw, who now takes it long, but Thornton heads it away. Bit of head tennis again. Maloney gathers up the ball, gets it to Coulson. Coulson with no pink shirts around him. Now goes on the left-hand side. Can he get a shot off? He does. Oh, and it's goal kick. Some scores in the um, third qualifying round. Alchurt 2, Nunny and Borough 0. I'll only do the scores. Anstey Nomads 5, Sheffield Town 0. Bamber Bridge uh, now losing 2-0 at home to Buxton. Banbury 1 up against... Berkhamstead, Baseford are losing to Boston United, 1-0 uh, to uh, the Pilgrims, Bath City uh, losing at home to Seven Oaks, 1-0, uh, Beckenham Town 4-2 against Binnefield, Billericay Town 2-1 versus Biggleswade Town, oh, some right good teams here, but, um, oh lovely um, shot on it is a goal, oh, for um, Curzon Ashton there as I just looked up and it's um, Tom Pears, it's a lovely um, shot and he's just um, tapped it in, so 2 1 here. Jackson gathers up the ball for another throw in. Going further up the field now, uh, Scarborough. Coulson gets head onto it. Coville now having to spin round, doing all the hard work there. Gets the ball now to um, Watson. Watson. He's looking for the overlap from Maloney, and Maloney does get hold of it. Maloney has a shot from distant, but it's um, beaten away. But Maloney has a second bite here. Oh, and it's a good save corner for Scarborough. Oh. And Scarborough will be bringing on a sub. I think it will be Bramble. He's trying to work out who it is. Bramble is on his way back. And Scarborough win a throw-in. Jackson will take this. He's going to look for Coulson. Coulson yet again. But Scarborough going on the advantage here. Gets the ball over to Coville, but it's beaten away there by um, a Curzon defender. Kieran gets his first touch of it. And I think that's Bramble. Oh, I just couldn't get past the um, Curzon playing this. Now Dom Tia on the edge of the um, area. Over to Coulson. Coulson! Oh, it's a it will be, will it be a penalty? It is a penalty for Scarborough Coulson. Pulled down in the area. So Scarborough with the penalty. <laughs> Maloney's uh, just given the ball to Coulson. Coulson gets upon his feet. He's limping quite heavy. Referee is just telling everyone to stay where they are until the ball is kicked. So Scarborough with a chance to equalise here. Coulson is now running up to it. He's going to go. And it's in the back of the net to all. Here at the Blooming Goal Land Stadium. Coulson with the second goal. Got it back to um, level playing field at the moment. Can Scarborough take the lead for the first time? <laughs> Ashley Jackson, the ball came long from the keeper and he's just headed it back. Come on! Don't waste time. Let's get a winner. Let's do this in 90 minutes. The free kick a bit higher up this time. Looking for Coulson. Coulson chests it down. It's um, kicked away there by Hancock. Barely going to beat um, Hobson to the ball there. And uh, Maloney gets the ball to Corville. Now to Tia. Back to Maloney, Maloney now gets it over onto Jackson on that left hand side, we love it when Jackson gets up on the left hand side, he's now racing into the penalty area, he's going to have a shot, oh it's just wide, oh Jackson.
So Jackson now to take this throw in. Eye up into the air. Can we get a head onto it? It's um, Barton who gets the head onto it, gets it away. Bramwell now back to Jackson. Jackson gets another cross in there. There's a few red shirts looking for Coval on the back post. But Coulson will run back. Give it to Tia. Tia now on this uh, right hand side. Gets the ball to Coval. Coval gets the ball forward to Wellergy. Wellergy in a good block. Can he get Oh, he's beaten down. It's going to be a corner for Scarborough here. Jackson um, had a bit of time to compose himself. Looked like he was going to go short there, but he's going to go long now. Drills this one in. And it's on the back post. It's gone wide. It's corner. Corner for Scarborough. The pressure's on Curzon at the moment. into the air, Bailey Gooder with a header, Maloney with a header, it's now fallen to um, Bramall, Come on, now over Bowen. to Jackson, can we get the feeling of um, a Nathan Curtis late minute, last minute goal, like a few seasons ago, about four years ago now, Kieran Glynn now, over to Coville, and it's now Scarborough on the attack, Bramall, on the edge of the penalty area. A little step over, brings it to Kieran Glynn. Glynn now puts it over to Coville. And it's going to be a corner. It's going to be a corner. This is where it gets a little bit. Oh. I'm, fe I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Maloney sets the ball down. Can anyone become a hero? As the ball's delivered in, it's lovely. Fairly good at it. Oh, it's off the bar! Oh! 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 So you're on the halfway line, he's just got a bit of space now over to Maloney. There's now a couple of red shirts, it's um, Piers. Getting the ball back and it's now um, over to Hobson, but oh, Thornton kicks it up, but he uh, couldn't get it out on it. Final whistle there has been blown here. It's ended free all as Hobson has just smashed it into the back of the net. That was scary. But the uh, whistle has been blown. It's ended free all here between Scarborough Athletic and Curtis and Ashton. We'll have to take it all the way back to uh, their ground. So it's three games in a trot. We'll be playing Curtis and Ashton. I don't think that's ever happened.